I think you, you feel when you do a marathon you can do anything. And I think that's why a lot of people do it. Physically, it's the biggest challenge that most people will ever take on in their lives. And for a reason, you know, 26.2 miles to run or to walk it is a massive challenge. Up until mile 15 or 18, the pace is in your legs, so you know what pace you should be running, and you should get to mile 15 or 18 comfortably. This wall that everybody talks about in the marathon is suddenly in front of you. That's when it goes under the microscope, and that's when the real questions are asked, and you're still 10 kilometres from home. The stresses on the body are immense, so not only are you depleting your energy stores, but the stresses on the joints, you're going to get muscle soreness, you're going to get microscopic tears to the muscles themselves as well, related to fatigue, which is going to affect their performance. Almost certainly every one of the 14,000 people today will, will get asked that question, and please God will answer that question as well sometime this afternoon. Top level marathon runners probably only run one, maybe two marathons at the most a year, and then they need time to recover, repair, rebuild. It's just literally the body being able to cope with that amount of stress without breaking down. Now, many of us would consider running a marathon a massive challenge in itself, but what about running 32 marathons in 32 days? That's what two businessmen from Mullingar are doing to raise money for charity. Basically what we're doing is we're going to run for 32 consecutive days. We're going to be running a marathon distance which is 26.2 miles. Our plan is to run every one of them, uh, somewhere between four and four and a half hours. So it will be a run uh, as opposed to a jog or walk or anything like that. Like I was going to bed thinking about it, I was waking up thinking about it. You know, kind of worrying about it, thinking about it, you know, I was dreaming about it and everything. I was just wondering, God, can I do it or not? It's going to be an almighty challenge. It's probably harder to do this than it would be to climb Mount Everest in your bare feet. <laughs> if you compare it to the Tour de France, you know, one of the differences is they have rest days, they have professional support teams, they're elite athletes, this is what they do, but also it's non-weight bearing, and that's a big part of it. You know, the fact you're on a bike, you know, the impact forces, you know, are far less substantial. Mile 13, Ken and I were running side by side. Suddenly he let out this scream of pain and he just got a dart of pain into it, into his, into his knee. Within a couple of hundred yards, I had no choice but to walk. He was in pain. Just no, you can't dress it up whatever way you like, but he was in serious pain. If that's the way it's going to be, that's it right here, I'm, I'm done. The guy thought he was gone, and I think he thought he was gone. And I just thought to myself, what the hell am I doing this for? I'm tired and looking forward to finishing. This was meant to be fun for me. It was meant to be a great challenge. This wasn't turning out the way I had imagined it. And so many people had trained for six or 12 months for this ambition and now it was in serious jeopardy. If he's gone and something happens to you, this whole event, this whole ambition, this whole project is going to just disintegrate. And little did I know what was coming around the corner. 